Welcome back guys, SBR BTCC Legends is back for another season and this is season 6 and we return with BTCC Blueprints as our main sponsor and we've had some products off them and top quality they are indeed. Um, Paul Welsh joins us as well, Leon races in the championship so his dad uh, wanted to sponsor him because uh, then Leon will get more airtime probably. But uh, welcome, welcome to them as well, great to have them on board. So let's meet the teams for season 6. We start off with the Halfords Lexus team and it's uh, Nathan Tomkinson who finished second last season, number two, and Will Friedman, number seven. Then we have the, oh God's sake, the clown car and that's back with Adam, number six, and Lewis, number 14. Great. Then we have the uh, Volvo S40 TWR team and that's uh, number 11, Jeff, and number 16, Panos, who new to the series, came up with the McGann's. Then we have the BMW First West Surrey Racing Team, and that's number 5, Chris, and number 12, Ash. Ash, who made all these liveries, a great job too. Then we have the MB Motorsports Team, which is probably the team to beat. Number 1, Jake Hill, the champion from last season. Number 4, Sean Cool, uh, looking to beat him. Labatt's Lexus Team is number 3, Ben, and number 10, Leon. Though Leon will, won't make the first round due to PS4 errors. Then we have the RCIB racing team and they're in the Nissan Skyline. Number 13 is Alex who just avoided relegation last season. Number 15 is Cull up from the McGann's. And the last team is the Mitsubishi team and it's number 8 uh, Liam. Number 9 is Rob. So let's get into the season then. And the first qualifying, well we did say they were favourites. Jake's on pole, number 1. And he's ahead of Sean, number 4. And we've got Liam number eight. First of the Lexus cars is uh, Nathan number two, and he's ahead of Ben number three. Good debut for Panos number sixteen, and he's ahead of Carl also on his debut number fifteen. And they're ahead of Rob number nine, and Lewis number fourteen. First of the BMWs. Then it's Jeff, number 11, very quick in practice before this race. And Adam, number 6, quite far back for him. Chris, ahead of his teammate in 5th. Splitting them is Alex, number 13. And on the back row, it's Ashley and Will. Will didn't turn a lap before this. It literally qualifying was the first laps he did for this race. So no surprise to see him at the back on a tricky track here at Sardena or Sardegna or Sardinia I don't know right so we're ready for a start the first one of the season and uh, can anyone beat the MB motorsport cars we're about to find out because we are away and we'll we're go for season six look like a good start from the front row guys Liam trying to split them but can't do it as we head into this very quick section and onto the first corner which is quite narrow the cars have all fanned out expect problems and there's a little bit of bumping and boring Look like the two Lexus cars got together, although not from the same team. So the cars go around this section now. It gets a bit twisty up here. There's a bit of a chicane. And Carl down the inside of Ben. But uh, they hold position. Looks like Ben will keep that over the curb. And does. And off we go. High speed freight train. But it is the MB Motorsport cars that hold the lead ahead of the Mitsubishi works livery I suppose we're going to have to call it and the other one's getting pushed out wide of Rob but he's going to hold on ahead of looks like Panos but it's Will at the back unfortunately for him but again no practice for Will and three wide into this first of the very tight corners there's two like this and a bit of bumping and boring Adam and that looked like it was Rob getting together and Rob definitely lost out on that shuffle as uh, Adam tries to maintain the position they're free wide again and now this, this is quite a fast section and you have to back out of it and there you go now they've got a left turn and then this is a, probably the trickiest corner on the track and already it looks like Will's had an accident and the first spin of the season or the first accident of the season see what happens he's on the outside and just loses the back of the car and into the barrier but we will we'll continue with that 
Sean all over the back of his teammate but at this stage probably working together much like we saw the Subaru team do in season four but those guys trying to stretch away from Liam but they are stretching away from the rest as Will recovers from his accident Sean just uh, well getting out of the slipstream a little bit there's a Mitsubishi 1, 2, 3 at the moment, and the Lexus in 4th, Lexus 5th, Nissan, BMW, Lewis coming through pretty well, he's up to 7th so far, now he's got to deal with the uh, very tricky Brooks, Carl Brooks, getting out from McGann's, a bit of contact between these two and they're probably the feistiest drivers in the league now. Catching them is Chris. Ash at the back there with Jeff and uh, Will and right at the back is Alex but uh, well Jake there with a slight break at the moment just seems to pull a couple lengths in those those corners in the background I can see Carl and Lewis side by side let's see what happens as they go into now this very t tight corner right hand or left hand corner let's see who's going to hold the position well Lewis is still down the inside looks like he might have that done Although Carl might just maintain it with the four-wheel drive of the Nissan, and he has, and that is allowed. And that's allowed Panos through. Need to learn the new guys. <laughs> through this, again, it's a really fast section. This corner is the hardest on the track, trying to pick the right speed. And normally one or two people will go off, and there's a bit of contact there. And uh, well, three into one doesn't go, and Carl's one's been spat out the side. Uh, that was raced at the stewards but they felt that was a racing incident because all three really just caused it to be honest Cole turned in and uh, Panos had nowhere to go and Will uh, Lewis hit what was left of the incident but now Lewis has got Chris all over him Chris has had uh, lessons from Jake or has been receiving lessons from Jake um, over last season and they definitely helped as we saw at Brands Hatch but uh, in the background Cole's gone for a move again and that's put two people in the gravel and struggling to see through the smoke who they are. It looked like it might have been Chris, but we'll check. So let's see what happens here with Carl. So going into the braking zone. And we break about 100. He's braked just after it. So I think he's realised he's braked too late. He's going down the inside to try and get the car stopped. But he's got absolutely no hope of stopping. And he's going to hit Adam right in the side. So it was Panos, I think, the other guy that got taken out. And it was. It was Panos and Rob. So not Chris. Yeah, and then they go into the gravel, the two Mitsubishis, the TWR and the Mitsubishi Works team in the gravel. And Carl received a penalty for that one of 10 seconds and a warning. So uh, Carl making his mark on this series straight from the get-go. <laughs> but it's still the MB Motorsport cars of Jake, then Sean, then Liam in the Works Mitsubishi ahead of uh, Nathan who's doing a good job to hang on to the back of these guys in the Halfords car, Ben dropping off already in the Labatt's car and then big gap back to Lewis who's got Chris chasing him and that's uh, yep already that's uh, Rob trying to come back through as he tries to pass Panos with uh, Panos's teammate Jeff just in the background Jeff massively fast time in practice but just didn't seem to recreate it in qualifying he doesn't seem to have the race pace either so um, yeah interesting <laughs> great lap from him in practice though worth mentioning it's Sean that leads now ahead of um, Jake so there's been a ch been a switch I'd imagine uh, Sean got the drive out of one of the hairpins Ooh, wide from Liam and he's very lucky to get away with that and not hit that barrier and that would have uh, definitely spun him out but these three or these four still in a line Although Nathan's just dropping off and Ben's just behind him. But he's, they're uh, not quite in touch with these Mitsubishis. Lewis doing a good job to hold off Chris. And then he's got uh, Carl behind. And just behind that is Adam. That, that uh, group split up a little bit from that contact a lap ago. And Chris with a good move down the inside of Lewis. I think Lewis can do about that. But we know Lewis won't give up. I saw in the background that Panos made a move on Rob at the same time down to the first corner. Chris maintains position. Lewis is going to have to wait. Carl's looking for any opportunity that might arise. 
And Adam's probably just thinking, well, all of you crash into each other and I can take the position. As Adam does his customary flash of the lights. And off we go up this hill, power hill, as we're going to call it. And up into the uh, left-hand corner, which is going to cause a lot of confusion, I think, during these three races, because it's very hard to get stopped for. It's quite narrow on the entry. But uh, there we go. Ooh, who's that? It's Adam up the inside of Carl. Wasn't really on. And rightfully sits behind him. Two TWR cars together. But back at the front, it's still Sean ahead of Jake. Liam still sat there waiting. And, well, definitely uh, Nathan's a lot closer. Ben seems to have just given up. And he'll try and stay ahead of these guys. So, uh, looks like Rob's back ahead of Pados. And now chasing down the car in front of him. Will having a good fight with Alex. But again, these two just working together. It's pretty obvious now. He's nudging each other along. Which would be frustrating for Liam. He, he would like them to battle so he can get involved. And uh, they're not getting away from Nathan. So Nathan doing a great job to hang on to that. As Lewis tries to get his position back. They lost the lap ago at this very corner. And round the outside. If we can get that done. That's a hell of a move. And he's done it. Great driving from Lewis. And round the outside of Chris. Chris would be wondering how that's happened. This group's still just about together, although Adam's just seemingly struggling to hang on to the back of it. Lewis protecting his place into that chicane. There's Ash in 10th place, just ahead of Rob. So Rob's trying to get back the positions he's lost after that crash with Carl. And uh, again, Rob's another one that's had um, some uh, driving tips with Jake. Rob jokingly saying it made him half a second slower. <laughs> so uphill, can he out drag a BMW? Well, I'm quite surprised if he can, and it looks like he's going to. He's got the inside line, so now he's just got to outbreak him. And Ash will give that one up. And now he'll be under pressure from Panos, I believe that is. So still, still it is Sean that leads from Jake. I'm quite happy to hold position at the moment. Ben's in no man's land. He's not close enough to the front, but he's ahead of these guys. And Lewis leading the chasing pack now. Ooh, what's that all about? It's Ash and Panos. Yep, I think Ash made a mistake and Panos has pounced. And another one that's off in the background is Jeff. And then we've got Will. Still this high-speed freight train shows no signs of changing position at the moment. Although Jake's having a little sniff down the inside, but can't get it done. I think he's quite happy to maintain the positions at the moment. Liam's not able to ma make any of it because they're pushing each other along. So Liam's just not able to get involved at the moment. But at some point, they're going to have to fight over the win. So if Liam's patient, and I'm sure he is, maybe something will arise at the end of the race. So Lewis still holding on well against Chris and Carl. Although Adam, like I say, is starting to drop back. Rob coming through well after his uh, the incident earlier. He's up to 10th place, but uh, Will's right at the back, still struggling for pace. So you get the feeling it's these three. Nathan might have a chance if he can get back up there. Lexus very quick on the straights, terrible on braking, and it's a bit of a fat ass in the corners. So uh, yeah, I think he's trying to make it all back on the straights, to be honest with you. But if these guys are pushing each other along, it won't be easy for him. So what's this all about? That's Chris down the inside of Lewis. So Chris hasn't given up. And they can see that they're slightly catching Ben. So Chris probably thinks he can get fast past and go after Ben. If they can only just stay in position. Chris with a personal best uh, middle sector there. And into this tricky corner they go again. As a freight train. Adam is dropping off the pace. But I don't think uh, Rob's got enough laps to catch him. Chris defending the inside as Lewis looks for it. Ooh, Lewis off into the grass. That might cost him a position against Rob. And we flash back to something. Let's see what happens here. Is this going to be a change? And it is. Jake's gone off. Almost hit the barrier. Good reflexes from Liam as he switches to the other side of the track and takes the position. Had to think fast and he's done it. And then back to this battle as they've come out the hairpin and Carl has taken the place off Lewis. 
Now can Cole blast that BMW down the straight? The Nissan is quick. We've gone forward to the front battle. So Liam up to second place. Now can he do anything about Sean? Because there won't be any team orders there, that's for sure. And Carl is indeed trying to blast the BMW and he's done it. Good move from Cole. That's put him ahead of Chris and Lewis. Rob still just about maintaining his position. Panos doing pretty good lap times though. He's not going to give up. Alex quite a way back. Jeff and then uh, Will still last. So Sean won't be happy that his teammate's not behind him anymore. He knows that Liam will not mess around. And again, Nathan, despite this battling, isn't able to get involved in the fight. So I think it tells you everything in you need to know about his car, it's just not quite on the par with these guys. And here comes Jake to retake second position straight away. And lets the brakes off. You see the front dip and he's got the position back. So it's back to an MB Motorsport 1-2. Again, Ben actually pulling away again from that group now. So looks pretty safe in fifth. Carl's leading the chasing pack. Rob definitely being caught a little bit by Panos, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Ash looking pretty good in 12th. Alex not really closing. I say Jeff's the surprise of the race with his practice pace. Everyone thought he'd be up in the top 10 easily. So that'd be quite annoying for him. Go on to the penultimate lap then. Still at Sean, as it has been for a while now, ahead of Jake. But now Jake's looking for the inside line. He's, he's decided now's the time to pounce. But that looks like he's gone in too deep. And he has into the gravel at turn one. And that's cost him any chance, I think, of the win. Can he fight back for the podium? I doubt it with a lap and a half to go. Is in the background. You see Carl and Chris battling. And, well, that's a disaster for uh, Jake. Champion of last season. Doesn't normally make mistakes like that. But, uh, well, he, had, he decided that was the moment to make a move on his teammate. And it, unfortunately, it didn't work out. It's Chris and Lewis now battle. Chris obviously not quite getting past Carl. And now he's got Lewis all over him. And Lewis takes the position. And Adam's caught back up. And in the background, I can see that uh, um, Rob, sorry, has been caught by uh, Panos. So, yep, yeah, that's the state of play. So now we've got Sean ahead of Liam, ahead of Nathan. He'll be more than more than happy to be on the podium. And then uh, a gap back to Jake, a gap back to Ben. And then we've got this battle, which looks like Cole's going to win. Although he'll have a penalty, as we know, after the race. Lewis there, just squeezing ahead of Chris. So can he catch Cole on the last lap? Very quick through there, Lewis. In fact, well, we saw Cole dip a wheel off and, and Lewis did the same thing. I think Cole was very sideways. And that's allowed Lewis to get pretty much back in the slipstream. And Lewis is fast out the tight corners, being a pad user. And Panos has indeed caught Rob. So we've got a plenty of last lap battles to worry about. And here's the battle for the lead. Liam's trying to go round the outside of Sean. He's been waiting. He's been patient. He's waited to the last lap. Can he get round the outside? Ooh, I don't think so because Sean's going to have the inside for the next corner now. And I don't see Liam getting around the outside of the next corner unless he can hold it and get the inside for the following corner. Let's see. He's thinking about it. He's trying it. Oh, he's gone a bit wide. He's got in the marbles a little bit and that's lost him corner speed. And Sean keeps the place but there's plenty more opportunities on this lap to have a move as Jake goes wide again. I think he's trying desperately to get on the back of these guys. Now they're fighting. You can see way behind him is Ben, so Ben's not going to challenge him. And there he is. And there's Carl with Lewis catching him. Lewis having a real go on the last lap to try and take that position. Ash is being caught by Alex, but I think he's going to be all right. And then Jeff and then Will will miles back, but that's not a surprise, like I say, with no practice. Sean, Liam, then Nathan. Nathan trying everything to get involved in this, but you can see those Mitsubishi just pull out the corner a lot better. And by the time his uh, top speed advantage kicks in, it's too late. Lewis does make a move on Carl. He's got it. And Chris almost wipes out Carl, but just about keeps it all on the island. And great move. Great last 
couple laps from Lewis. He's uh, made up a couple of positions and moves into sixth position. And Sean defending from Liam for all he's worth as they go into the last corner. As we try to try to cover about five battles at once. And nothing's really changing between these guys, I don't think. Unless Adam can go around the outside of Chris, which I can't see happening. And it doesn't. And it's going to be Sean, I think. Liam's trying in the slipstream, but can't get there. So Sean, Liam, Nathan, Jake on his own in fourth. Ben on his own in fifth. And it's going to be Lewis, by the looks of it. Unless Brooksy can use the... Cole, sorry, can use the slipstream. No. And then... We have Chris and Adam in 8th and 9th. Who's going to be 10th? Oof, just Rob ahead of Panos. Then it's Ash just ahead of Alex. And then Jeff and Will. So I was wrong about Alex. Alex caught Ash right on the line. But uh, I think there was like a couple thousandths between them. So let's run through the results. Sean it is from Liam, Nathan, Jake, Ben, Lewis, um, Cole but he drops 10 seconds so it goes down to ninth, I believe um, then it's uh, Chris, Adam, Rob Panos and Ash the top 12 Jake with the fastest lap on lap 7 and then it was uh, Alex 13th, 14th for Jeff and 15th for the well Will who's just learning the track at the moment I'm sure it will get faster as the night goes on but that was uh, round one, round two shortly um, in the BTCC Blueprints Pool Walsh, Welsh, sorry, not Walsh, Welsh Championship for SBR. We'll see you for round two very shortly of season six.